Welcome to Guitar.com. If you're looking to purchase your first acoustic guitar or your first electric guitar, today we're going to help arm you with the information necessary to do so. Uh, the internet can be a great resource for finding all the research you need in doing so, but it can be very confusing. And today we're going to help drill down into that detail uh, and arm you with the information you need. So when you walk in the door at your local music store, you'll have that information. Your local music store can be a great resource. They'll be your best friend. They can help you buy your first amp, your first cable, your tuners, your strings, all that information. Let's head downstairs. We're here in Plainview, New York at All Music. We're going to meet up with the owners and they're going to help drill down that information for us. Come on. Hey, we're here with Guy from All Music and we're here to purchase our first bass guitar. Uh, Guy, I wanna, I'm an adult learner uh, and I want to start playing bass guitar. What would the first thing that I do uh, when I come into the store and I want to buy a bass guitar? You want to start out first thinking about the budget you want to spend. So I put, I put together a budget I want to spend $275. Okay, so with a budget like that from the 250 to 350 range, you're going to be looking at a package base. Um, you can buy a base itself for around the two to $300 price range, but if you want a complete package, you're going to get everything in the package. It would be the base, the amp, the um, gig bag, strap, cable, whatever wow. else that you need, tuner. It'll include everything. So it's something like this? Right. It's a quality base. It'll work for just about anybody, whether it's an adult or a child. Um, and again, you're going to be looking at how the size of the guitar, the size of the bass, the body style, um, the length of the neck. Sometimes, again, for children, you'll need a smaller size bass. Does this come, something like this, always come with a full size bass? Or they also this is a full size bass, yes. Okay. This will come with a full size bass. They do make some three quarter packages, or even if they don't, they make three quarter guitars that. Um, we personally, what we do is we can make that into a package with a bass amp and everything else that you would need to become a package. So, okay, so I, so if, if, if I'm looking at a bass package, you have uh, several different options. Is it is it a feature issue, or, or are we looking at different brands? There are more than one brand. Well, there are features. You know, there's a, a precision bass body. There's a jazz bass body. There's different body styles. Then there's also four string and five string. But usually. Most beginners, the majority of beginners, will be starting on a four-string bass. And do you have an example of what a good four-string? Uh... Sure. It's like a four-string bass from Squire. Um, it's a jazz bass. It has two jazz pickups, rosewood neck. Uh, you know, it's a good quality tuner. Um, and like I said, this is a jazz bass body. It's a little bit more elongated than a precision bass body. And also, you know, when you're buying for a child or for yourself. You want to pick it up, you want to hold it in your hands and see how it feels, how it feels in your lap. The weight of the instrument is also sometimes an issue for a child, how heavy it is, um, how long that neck is. If they can't reach out to the end, it's going to be a problem for them to learn. Right. So w when I get this instrument, it's about how it feels to me. Are there other things that we would, that I should look for, other things that you would do to it that would make me you know, ask for it as I'm purchasing this instrument? Of course, you know, we tend to ask people, like, what style of music do you like? What do you, you know, what do you like to listen to? Mm -hmm. So there's also, like I said, there's precision styles, there's jazz styles, there's, you know, SG body shapes, there's different body shapes and styles and, you know, different pickups that'll give you a heavier sound or a more mellow sound. So these are all questions that we ask when someone's coming in purchasing an instrument. Mm -hmm. And will these come with uh, with a setup as well when, when you get to, whether yes. I buy it as a, as a kit or whether I buy it individually, would that be something that we'd set up? Right. Like I said before, um, here we do every everyone that comes in and buys an instrument for us. We will set up that instrument. So if you go into a store and walk out with a package guitar or a bass like this that's not set up, sometimes it's been sitting for a while. It's not set up properly. You're going to get it home and it's going to be a problem to play. We will set it up and, and that will be included in the price. So it's important a to set up a budget and b to make sure that you request that the instruments get set up before right. you leave the store. Absolutely. And that that's regardless of whether you buy a package kit or whether you're buying an instrument all by itself. Exactly. Uh, and also making sure that whether I'm buying it for myself, where that that would do wonderful. Sure. And then, or if I'm buying it for a child, mm -hmm. that that they actually get a chance to make sure that from a size. Right. You would want to sit the child down. We would do that and, and see if this was the right size body, if it's the right scale length, if it's too heavy. You know, these are all things that we look at when we're sizing a child. Terrific. Well, there you have it. Thanks, guy. And that's how you can purchase your first bass guitar. Uh, we appreciate you coming by Guitar.com. We hope to see you on the site real soon.